Shalom, call hello, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahushai, Bahashem, Rakakodash, that's giving all praise to the Most High. In the name is only begotten the Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit. My name is Ibar from the Prophets in Babylon camp down here in Tampa, Florida. And I want to give double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone who taught us his truth and truth and sincerity. Peace and salutations to the hopeful legs scattered abroad. And real quick, man, I want to touch on this video. This is from the Prophets in Babylon 144. This is our channel on um, Instagram. I mean, our, um, our page on Instagram, you can go uh, watch it. You know, this is pretty much just where we post uh, videos that we can't post on uh, on um, YouTube. You know, so it's a lot of information on this page. But one of the brothers posted this right here. Um, and it said, the title of the caption says, This is how you can identify the daughters of Israel, the true Jews. What other nations, women, suffers from this curse? And this is a curse, man. This is a curse, okay? This is absolutely a curse. This is ridiculous. You know, right now I'm at a plantation. The, the uh, lights cut off, man. All right, the lights cut off at, at, at my plantation. So, you know, I guess we had an earlier lunch. <laughs> we went to lunch early. You know, they still ain't back on yet, man. So, I don't know what's going on. But this happened last week too. But I was thinking, yo, it's gonna come a day where these lights ain't gonna, ain't gonna cut off and they're not, they're not gonna come back on at all, man. Alright, we're gonna give all praises to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem Kakudash. But back to the video. So um yeah man and you know this individual is recording herself doing this, okay? She recorded herself doing this, which just is a curse that came upon the daughters of Zion, pretty much for being demons, alright? And these curses are still upon our people. But it's going to come upon these heathens. All right, it's going to come upon the heathen now. Once we, once hey, the Lord's going to beautify His people, and it's going to come upon the heathens. And I thought about this when I saw this video. I said, imagine when this curse come upon the heathen. You know, the Edomite women. They're going to have patches in their shit. All right, but let's read read, read, read what, what, what what the brother got here. It says, this is the shame the daughters of Israel must go through. It's like it must bear chiefly Judah, right? Because this happens to you know, uh, chiefly Judah, man. Which Judah got the damn brunt of the curses, man. The, the most of the curses, you know, the the, the, the more extreme curses are, are on the tribe of Judah because that's the head tribe. All right. And also, also why the Lord said he would save the tents of Judah first, you know. So you got a lot of uh, 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 Judites that came into this true first, got to understand it first. But let's grab this. It says Isaiah chapter 6. Matter of fact, I'm just going to grab it in the, uh, let me grab it in the, in the, let's go back. Let me grab it in, uh, where we at, where we at? Blue Letter Bible. All right, Isaiah chapter 3, verse, um, let me go up. Well, let's, uh, let's, we'll get to the point. So, Lockie, we'll get to the point. Let's get to the point. It says, um, I'm going to read it in the NLT. All right. It says, um, the Lord, Yahweh says, um, J Jeremiah 3, verse 16, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh says, Beaut beautiful Zion is haughty, cr uh, craning her elegant neck, flirting with her eyes, walking with dainty steps, twinkling her ankle bracelets. So the Lord will send scabs on her head. And that's what you saw that woman had. She had scabs on her head. Lord said, therefore, the Lord will smite the scab, the crown of the head. Okay, the daughters of Zion, which are you Israelite women. It says, the Lord, Yehovah Shem Yahusha, will make beautiful Zion bald. And that's what happened to our people. And you saw in that video, that woman. Salakia. But at one point in time, our women were very, you know, beautiful. They had long hair. Um, which that account of the, of the woman that, that washed Yehovah Shai's feet with her hair. She had to have very long hair, you know. But now they are the one do, do, these women are bald. Matter of fact, I was just looking at a picture of that that girl. I forgot her name, Nicole something. It was a video on Instagram, and it was her sitting on the couch with a with with, with, with her natural hair, you know, and, and it looked like a mini fro, uh, with some braids. And then the the, the the Jake sitting next to her was looking at pictures of her on Instagram, where she had them wigs on. And she looked, you know, great on Instagram, but in person, whole different person. All right. So it says, so the Lord will send scabs on her head. The Lord will make beautiful Zion bald on the day 
on the day of judgment, the Lord will strip away everything which makes her beautiful. Right. The Lord going to strip all that away, man. Okay. He's going to strip. He, and he has stripped it all the way. But we come into a time of Jacob's trouble. You know, more judgment is coming. And you women are going to be humbled. Right now, these women walk around with fake ass, you know, one inch eyelashes on, two inch eyelashes on, um, fake weave, you know, makeup. Everything is fake. And they say they want a real man. It says, the Lord will strip away everything that makes her beautiful. Ornaments, head, bands, crescent, necklaces, earrings, bracelets, veils, scarves, ankle bracelets, sashes, perfumes, and charms, rings, jewels, party clothes, <laughs> gowns, capes, uh, and purses, mirrors, fine linen garments, head ornaments, and shawls. Instead of smelling of sweet perfume, she will stink. Now, that woman you saw in that video, man, 10 times out of 10, you know, 10 times out of 10. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> all right. It says she will wear a rope of, for a sesh and her elegant hair will fall out. Right. A woman used to have elegant hair, you know, beautiful hair. But it all fell out now because of, because of the curses. She will wear rough uh, burlap instead of rich robes. Shame will uh, replace her beauty, right? Oh, let me grab this too. Oh. Um. <laughs> Deuteronomy. What is this? Uh. No, don't. No, what is this? Allowed to post? We'd like to post it. No, don't allow. Please. What, what is that? I don't know what that was about. Let's go here. It says, um, Deuteronomy chapter twenty-eight, which is the curses. All right. It says, the most tender and delicate woman among you, so delicate she would not so much as touch the ground with her foot, will be selfish toward the husband uh, that she loves and toward. Her own son and daughter. So our women used to be delicate. They they wouldn't even touch touch the ground with their feet. Okay, but now that that hey man, they're they're you know they're totally through. The main reason why I want to do this video though was to read some of the comments. All right, let's go through some of these comments, man. So uh brother Otis, Yasharala Shalom Brother Yahobashima Shabrakata says that's what's underneath a lot of niggas' dreadlocks, right? You know. Then somebody said, Really? So y'all also suffer from Paris paralysis too um and a lot a lot of so-called black women especially when they get older they have something called um alopecia which that's what uh will smith's wife was going is going through this why she had to cut her hair which she's a total harlot you know that curse, that curse fell upon her she had she had to cut her hair um but it's alopecia okay where pretty much you know these women, these women start to go bald and my mom she um you know she she she's she she, she does hair She's a hairdresser or whatever. So growing up, you know, I will always see ladies, you know, you know, she'll she'll do it. She 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 went in the shops here and there, but she was always at the house too. But I would see these women come to the house and they would get to go go to get, you know, get their hair braided. And a lot of them was bald head, man. A lot of them had patches in their head or was bald head or you know, they'll take off them wigs and they was, you know, pretty much bald head, man. You know? Which also comes from wearing them damn wigs that, that weave in the first place. You know, it's, it, it, I should have tell, well, uh, tell you shit up. Okay, I mean, he used to be putting curses on that stuff. It says, um, had that shit all my life. Now, this is, I believe that this is, this is a dude. He said, had that shit all my life, but it's always around hair that, that it's always around hair that it dries and flakes, head, beard, mustache, a little bit of all, of on all. Damn, he going through it. He says, a little bit on the small arm, arm hairs. Damn. It's like, and I'm allergic to my own hair. Wow. But putting olive oil on your scalp helps. But I never thought it came from the curse. I also used to have mad fevers when I was young. I was hospitalized a lot for it. I know it says fever under the curse. Right, right. That's, yeah, yeah, that's crazy. Somebody's name's Keys is dope. Says, man, no matter what you do, it comes back. I oil my scalp every other day that the the day i don't my whole shirt white when i scratch my hair 
Wow. I'm not sure if that's a woman or a man. I guess you got men in here too. So, uh, now this is a woman. She says lemongrass soap and tea tree oil. You're welcome, beautiful. I guess it is a woman. It's fungus in the head. I promise mine was the same. Mine was the same was three years ago. Right. So they they they, they on here talking about how they they all going through it. It says that don't have nothing to do with being Jewish. L O L L O L. Okay. Clean your diet. That's called severe dandruff caused by par parasites, actually. Okay. I don't know if it's if if that's par parasariosis. But I have that shit. Not that bad, but my skin only around my hair gets dry and flakes. I have all these weird issues. Some health I ha and I have never understood why. Until I read Deuteronomy 28, which, which is the curses. All right, this is a curse. It says, um, I used to have fevers all the time when I was a kid. Went to a to hospital a lot. The fever is a part of the curses. Now here, now here are some women. It says, the only thing I used to, only thing I used that actually got rid of mine was sulfur 8 shampoo. And hair grease, everything else made it worse. So this woman right here, she says she had it, man. You know? She says she had it. I'm, I'm guessing she definitely wearing a wig in that picture. And then no disrespect, sister. It's only for the edific edification of the video. All right? But it says, nah, this just a crusty-ass nigga, fam. <laughs> somebody said gross. She sh needs... Oh, somebody said needs... Some sea moss, right? And I heard you put sea moss on anything, and, it, and it, it'll make it better. But um, yeah, you know that that's that's spiritual, man. That you know everybody came on this comment board and was when was showing their, their different um, was telling their different stories about uh, about having this uh, you know, this situation, man. You know, but it predominantly happens to the so-called black woman. All right, where they'll they'll have these scar, which is which is scab. That's a scab. You know, the Lord said he would scab the crown of the head and a woman's hair is her glory. OK. A woman's hair is her glory. Let me grab that real quick. Oh, yeah. Second Corinthians this is a spiritual. I went into this the other day. Second Corinthians chapter 11 Verse This is why you men ain't supposed to have long hair too uh, Verse 15 But if a woman have long hair It is a glory to her For her hair is given her for a covering So a woman is supposed to have long hair And it's a glory unto a woman to have long hair For a woman to have long hair that's a beautiful thing You know that's why in the Middle East You know in that, in that, in that land You know the, those those women they, 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 they have their heads covered You know they, they pretty much have their whole bodies covered Because that's a sign that they're married so that they don't, you know, make another man lust after them. A man will lust after you just because of your hair. You know, you have that easy breezy cover girl hair, you know, that, that especially that black shiny hair that, you know, that that just, you know, hey, man, that, that, that'll make a man lust after you. That's why our women now, what they do, they go get them long braids and they shaking it, they head, you know, throwing their hair around or that weave around, you know. <sighs> That's the point, though. I ain't gonna make this too long. I pray this lesson to the Edifant to the Vallex Shalom Kwam Sharala of Bible Ball.